I've now been experimenting with Arduino and Fusion 360 for a while, so it was time for me to create something from scratch. And after four weeks of design and tweaking, my LED mood lamp is finally ready, so it's time for me to show you guys how to make one yourself. The outer cover was printed in filamentive natural EPLA. I used 0% infill, two perimeters, 10 bottom and 10 top layers. The base was printed in filamentive light wood PLA and the light tower was printed in filamentive's newly released one pet red. Once those are done, you also need to print the button extension. You'll need some wires, ideally with lots of red and black a 5 volt 30 by 30 fan, an Arduino Nano, an LM2596 step down board, DC jack input, tactile button, two M3 by 12 screws, two M2 by 10 self tapping screws, and finally a strip of RGB LED between 100 and 120 LEDs should do. I started off by sanding the base a little bit with 240 grit sandpaper. Seeing as it was printed in wood filament, I felt that applying some clear lacquer on it by wiping it with a dishwashing sponge would make it look much better, which in fact it did. Next step is to apply some solder onto the end of the LED strip for the wires, solder the black to the ground, yellow or any other color of your choice to the signal and red to the 5 volt pad. Take note of the direction of the LED strip, which is usually marked by an arrow. Once done, push the wires through the bottom oval hole of the tower, remove the M3 adhesive cover from the back of the LED strip and start wrapping it around the tower. If you are using a strip of about 100 LEDs, leave about 2mm gaps between each pass. Finally, I secured everything in place with some hot glue. Secure the fan to the bottom of the tower. Make sure the orientation of the fan pushes the air through the tower and secure using two M3 screws, which should be more than enough. Prepare some solder on the pads where all the wires will be attached. These will be both outs and ins of the step down board. On the Arduino, we will be using the VIN, the ground next to it, D5 pinout, D2 pinout, and also the ground next to it. Next is the DC jack input and finally the tactile button. Only two top pins will be used in this case. Next, solder a couple of wires to the tactile button. Ideally, one would be black as it will go to the ground on the Arduino, which will make it a lot less confusing. In order to solder the wires to the DC jack input, take note of the polarity of the positive and negative from your power supply. Now, power supplies usually display this information on them in my case, the positive is the pin and the negative is the outer shell, which as you'll see, I still managed to reverse, but I do end up fixing it at a later step. Grab the base and insert the 3D printed button extension into its slot. Once pushed all the way in, slide the tactile button in its place and push down all the way. Just to make sure it stays there, I use some hot glue. You can then slide the DC jack input in its place and if you are sure all is fine, you can then use some hot glue once again to secure it. We now need to trim the wires. I place the Arduino temporarily in its spot to get an idea of the length required for the wires. I cut them to size and trim the ends of all the wires which will be used. Since I don't have a third hand, I use some double sided tape to temporarily secure the step down board in place while I solder the wires. I start off with the DC jack wires. The red goes into the positive in and the black goes to the negative. Now since my power supply is 9 volts, I need to make sure that that step down reduces that voltage to the required 5 volts. So I get a multimeter, I attach the power supply plug and this is where I notice I reverse the wires of the DC jack. So I quickly fix those and everything is fine. Once plugged in again, a light came on on the board. I checked the output voltage with a multimeter, which in this case showed 8.42 volt. So I would suggest you grab a small screwdriver and rotate the small screw on top of the board until the voltage starts to drop down. Once it reaches five volts, stop there. Grab the LED strip red wire and solder that to the positive output on the step down board. 
solder to this another piece of red wire maybe about two inches long to the same outlet this will be used to power the arduino once again do the same for the black wire coming out of the led strip and also another piece of black wire about two inches long to power the arduino on the ground now grab those two small red and black wires and solder them to the arduino red goes to the vin pad and the black goes to the ground next to it Take the signal wire from the LED strip and solder it to D5 on the Arduino. The red and black wires from the fan also go on the step down board. Once again, red to positive out and black to negative out. Once all that is done, simply test fit that everything fits neatly inside the base. Now it is time to take it for a test run. Plug in the USB cable to the Arduino. Fire up Arduino IDE on the PC. Go to Tools, Manage Libraries, search for Fast LED Library and install it. Once done, go to File, Examples, Fast LED and choose Color Palette so you can load a sample sketch to test. On the sketch, make sure you change the number next to Num LEDs to the same amount of LEDs you have on your strip. In my case, it's 100. You can also adjust the brightness, which can go up to 255. Select the COM port and the board and upload everything to the Arduino Nano. If all goes well, the light should come on on the lamp. Finally, we will solder the white wire from the tactile button onto the D2 pad on the Nano and the black wire from the button onto the uh, ground right next to it. Finish all this off by screwing in the step down board to the base with the two M2 screws. For everything else, well, there's hot glue gun. Once you confirm all the wires are in place, push them slightly to the side to avoid hitting the fan blades and secure the tower to the base by inserting it into the slots and twist it clockwise slightly until it's secure. Plug in the power and if all is good, screw on the outer cover of the lamp and you're good to go. Now you might ask what the push button is for. Well, for that to be used, you'll need to download a more elaborate sketch. This gives you more patterns, which you can simply cycle through by pressing on that tactile button. To install these, simply download the sketch and open it in Arduino RDE. Adjust the number of LEDs to the number of uh, LEDs you have on the strip. And notice that this sketch defines also a button, which is button number two for the tactile button. Now in this particular sketch, you'll also need to include two lines of code to define the brightness. Uh, these are important as each LED can draw up to 60 milliamps on full brightness. That would require a power supply of about six amps, which I do not have as I only have three amps. So I tend to use about half of the brightness, which is still more than enough. Once all that is done, upload a sketch and you have yourself a mesmerizing LED lamp with some awesome light effects that I am sure will look awesome no matter where you That is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. It's This project has been a long time coming. It's been four weeks of absolute madness because I really wanted it to be as perfect as I can possibly do it. And I'm very happy with the results. I do hope that some of you, if not maybe all of you, try to at least replicate this model. I will leave links in the video description to absolutely everything that I've used, including the sketches and the parts, absolutely everything. I want to thank you all for watching. I want to give out my special thanks to my patrons because without their support, I wouldn't be able to do videos like this. I want to thank Magigoo for sponsoring this channel. And I want to thank Filamentive for sending me the filaments to be able to use uh, in order to complete this project. Remember that if you purchase any filaments from Filamentive, use code 3D Makernew for 15% off, which is absolutely awesome. That is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and as always, happy making, guys.